Hello again fellas, it's me again. Time for another quick shitty video. We've all seen these Mercury vapor lamps. They're reasonably efficient, they're reasonably bright, they've got a reasonable colour rendering, and they last for years. Basically how these work, we send an electric current through a gas which is ionised and produces light. In this case it's mercury vapour. Now in the old days they were just like this. They were a bare arc tube in a clear outer envelope and while they were quite bright the colour temperature was quite high and the colour rendering was obviously quite poor because it's just a mercury uh, discharge and uh, that's so you get a bluey sort of green light and it's okay for street lighting but it's not really quite pleasant to look at it was quickly discovered the mercury discharge gives off quite a lot of UV radiation and the lab designers thought well we can use this let's put a fluorescent uh, phosphor on the inside of the outer envelope and we can use that to correct the light. It does that by adding quite a lot of red, which improves the colour rendering, slightly improves the luminous flux, and greatly reduces the colour temperature to something more comfortable, which is 4200 degrees Kelvin. But there was a slight disadvantage with this. It still needs a ballast to control the current. Hmm. Now there was a different sort of mercury vapour lamp available, known as the self-ballasted lamp. The one in front of you is from the early 1970s and how they basically work is there's a tungsten filament in series with the arc tube and that provides two functions. One is to obviously ballast the arc tube and the second, the tungsten light, helps lower the colour temperature and improve the colour rendering. The only downside of this is the efficiency isn't really that much better than a normal incandescent lamp but you do get quite a significant lifespan increase. Now going back to the original point of this video, quite a while ago I picked this up on eBay, it's cheapy. Ignore this box, it says self-ballasted metal halide lamp, but that's a lie because there's no halides in the arc tube. It's just a pure mercury vapour. What I found interesting that instead of having a traditional tungsten filament in series of the arc tube, there is actually a linear halogen lamp. So what I'm going to do now is to fire it up and once it's reached full power I'll add an ND filter and we'll be able to see these two technologies at work. What I found interesting that instead of having a traditional tungsten filament in series of the arc tube there is actually a linear halogen lamp. So what I'm going to do now is to fire it up and once it's reached full power I'll add an ND filter and we'll be able to see these two technologies at work. Energizing in three, two, one. You can see straight away the uh, dominant is the halogen lamp. I'm going to need a filter straight away. Let's get it out. <laughs> Whoops. Four planning. I do apologise. As you can see there. As the arc tube gets brighter, the halogen dims off. Just added another filter so we can see the more detail in the arc. Uh, note the Chinese quality control, a nice big fingerprint on the arc tube. <laughs> uh, what's the power draw? Four hundred and eight watts at the moment. Yeah. I 
that's quite pretty. Two technologies, mercury vapour and tungsten halogen, working in unison. See if we can get some nice close ups. I don't know if you can make it out, but there is a slight stream of energy coming from the auxiliary electrode. Obviously, the resistance in that resistor isn't quite high enough. You can see the arc there. If the tripod cooperates and lets me pan, there we go. Let's go even closer. Tungsten filaments, mercury vapor. There's a close up of the uh, arc tube and the little stream is clearly visible look at that fingerprint nasty oh well there we are full power which is exactly 400 watts believe it or not which I'm surprised about uh, the colour is nice it's nice and bright it's giving off a lot of heat I hope you've enjoyed this little demo. Thanks for watching. See you later.